Hey kids, um, today we're in Psalm 22, and it's a, this is a very famous psalm. It may, maybe you even remember it from whenever you've read through the Gospels, because the first line of the psalm is, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Now, where, where, who have you heard that has said that? If you, so I want you to think right now, maybe, maybe tell your parents, who's, who said, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me, and when did he say it? That's right, Jesus. Right? Jesus says those words on the cross. And there's really important reasons why Jesus said those particular words on the cross. Because, and here's, here's the main reason. It's because Jesus, in saying that, was coming down to join us in our troubles, in our loneliness, in our abandonment. Because here's, here's the reality for us. There are gonna be times in the Christian life, there's many times when you're following God where you're gonna feel abandoned where you're gonna feel like God is not listening, when you're praying to him and calling upon him for help, and, and he's just not, it doesn't seem like he's listening to you, it doesn't seem like he's answering, you're gonna be, be calling and praying, and he's not gonna be doing what you want him to do, and you're gonna feel alone, and you're gonna feel scared, and it's gonna get really hard. That, that's gonna happen, that happens to every Christian has times like that. And when those times happen, Psalm 22 can be really helpful, because in Psalm 22, David was feeling that way, and, and David tried to remember some things. And he remembered, for example, David says he remembers um, the way that other people have trusted God and God helped them. And so he, he reminds himself of stories, maybe stories from the Bible or stories from history or stories from his family where, where God uh, has, has rescued people when they've trusted in him. There are lots of stories like that. And so David remembers those stories. And then David doesn't just remember stories about other people. He remembers about stories in his own life. When he feels alone, when he feels like God isn't near, he remembers, but there was a time when God was helping me, when he was near, and I wanna remember that. And so, and then not only does David remember other people's stories and his own story, he calls upon God. He keeps praying, he keeps crying. He says, Lord, don't be far off. Come quickly, save me, deliver me. I'm, I feel alone and, and scared. And then for us, we have, so those are three things you can do. You can remember other people's stories, you can remember your story, and you can keep praying. You can not, don't quit, don't stop praying. Keep talking to God, when, even when you're scared and alone. But then for Christians, we actually have another way because we can remember Jesus. We can remember that Jesus knows what this is like. Jesus, I want you to listen to some of these, these, these passages. You can actually go later if you want and you can compare these. You can look up these verses. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a list of verses and then I'm gonna give you a passage from the Gospel of Matthew. And I want you to go read the passage in the Gospel of Matthew and I want you to, to, to see where you can connect these verses, okay? So here's the verses. Okay, the first one is in verse 16. They have pierced my hands and feet. Okay, so when did they pierce Jesus' hands and feet? And then verse 18, it says, they divide my garments among them, and for my clothing they cast lots. This was written hundreds of years before Jesus came, and yet it describes that. And then again, it says, um, all who see me, this is verse seven, all who see me mock me, they make mouths at me, they wag their heads. He trusts in the Lord, let him deliver him, let him rescue him because he delights in him. So they're mocking Jesus and they wag their heads. Go find that in Matthew. I'll tell you the, Matthew in a minute. And then of course, the last one where Jesus says, um, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And so the passage I want you to go read is Matthew chapter 27, verse 32 to 46. And I just want you to read it and I want you to find that. And, and this is the lesson you can take from it. This is the encouragement. When you feel alone and scared and, and afraid, you can remember that Jesus knows. Jesus knows what it's like to, to feel abandoned in this way. To, he joins us in our abandonment. He came so that he was able to help us. He can say to you, he can come to you and he can say, I know what it's like to feel like God turned away from you. I know what that's like and I'm still with you. Even though it doesn't feel like it, I'm still with you and I will help you.